Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to more Detective Pikachu. Last episode, we got a nice little tour around the GNN studio. It was pretty cool, however, this Perugly right here went missing. Managed to solve the case and she kicked out these Magnemites from their crate. Just so she could take a little nap in there and now the Magnemite are missing. So, we need to head to Hero and um, tell them about the Magnemites. So, let's go. Yo, Hero. The Magnemite are missing. Hmm? What? Magnemite escaped? I think it's somewhere in the studio. That'll explain all the static and the footage we received. We need to split up and search the studio. Do you think you could help us, Tim? Of course. Let's go, Pikachu. Just one moment. The studio is a big place. Without a plan, we could be searching all day. What do you want to do then? Let's get the Yammer to help us out. If the camera gets close to the Magnemite, it will start showing interference on the screen. Oh, I see. Do you think we could use the Yammer camera's hero? They might help us find out where the uh, Magnemite is hiding. Of course. I'll leave it to you, Tim. Thank you very much. Can you hear me, Yamma? I want you to film around the studio as I tell you to. Alright, there's our footage. The area with the most interference is backstage. Come on, let's go say hi to Magnemite. Oh, Magnemite. There you are. <laughs> Tim, come here! I found it! There it is, just as we suspected. Yep. They can finally start filming now. Why are you causing everyone so much trouble? <laughs> you say it's Perugly's fault? Well, I guess that's only fair. It did steal your place after all. It probably takes after that Olga woman. What an obnoxious duo. <laughs> We've gotten a good tour of the studio, right? Okay, since you found Magnemite, well, the camera should work just fine. Let's go to the studio. Yeah, don't want to miss uh, Karina's big moment. Should I uh, head back to the dressing room, Magnemite? It's a rowdy audience, except there is no audience. I guess that's the magic of television, right? Oh, starting. Hi, everyone, and good evening. I'd like to welcome you to Maximum Music. As always, I'm your host, Max, and... Max! <laughs> that's not right. This is Chatot. So, today Hold we on. have... We'll introduce the guests tonight, thank you very much. I'm Olga Ellison, and this is my darling Perugly. Oh, Chatot! Our show's being taken over again! Wonderful work, Perugly, dear. Well, shall we get the show going? So, coming up next, a very special guest. A violinist you all know and love. Here she comes now. Miss Karina Mitchell! What are you doing? Clap harder! Clapping as hard as I can. Uh, good evening. Great. And cut! <laughs> so, Karina, smile a little more. Don't forget that, okay? He's right, you know. You've got to be more confident, otherwise nobody will care. Now, now. Uh, she obviously doesn't get it. It's her modesty and humility that add to Karina's charm. It seems like a lot of work to be on TV. Alright, so let's speak to Karina see what's up. Still nervous? Yes. You're amazing, Karina. Oh, Tim, I'm sorry. I feel so embarrassed. Please, don't be. Just do the same thing next time. Thank you. So, how am I supposed to uh, smile naturally? I better mess up on the real shoot. I'm sure you'll loosen up as you uh, do rehearsals. Yeah, I want to see Karina's natural expressions. Okay, let's talk to Hero. Ah. Sub control room, do you read me? Could you do a check on the last bit? You got it. Hi, hero. Oh, hey there, Tim. Sorry, do you think you could uh, wait till later? Got my hands full with these checks. Oh, of course. Being a director seems like a lot of work. Maybe we should go talk to the other cast, members of the show for now. So where's Max? Or Olga? Maybe went to their dressing rooms? Oh no, they're over there, cool. Yo. Hey, nice job out there, Olga. 
you've still got that, uh, rip your wood of yours? Hold on, what do you mean by that? Are you saying I'm not nice? But what, no, I just... Hmm, maybe you should start ta taking your job more seriously yourself. Come on, poor ugly dear. Oh man, she's got a temper. Get out of my way. <laughs> huh? Solga's voice. Its voice impressions are really amazing. It has the same temper and everything. Right, there's no secret or trick or... I've got it. Huh? Got it? What? Chudder is one of the Max's signals. Tim, try someone on uh, your foot down. Like this? Get out of my way. <laughs> That's what I thought. You noticed Max set his foot down earlier too, right? That was his uh, cue to have Chudder mimic Olga. Oh, I get it. He'd send signals like that to Chudder and have it mimic the voices he wanted. Well, guess I'm found out. You're pretty good. Are there other signals you use? Well, yeah, but I'm not going to give them all away. Where's the fun in that? I think I'll head back to my dressing room now. I think the next rehearsal is about to start. Let's go ask Hero. Sounds good. Alright. Hmm? How are the checks coming along? Sub control? They're done, no problems. Great, let's move on to the next rehearsal then. Are you ready, Tim? Yeah, I'm ready. Great, let's get who ready for the signal. Three, two, one. sensitive so you can stop now hey Tim do you think you could get your Pikachu to be a little more quiet <laughs> see <laughs> and cut that was wonderful oh you were amazing Karina thank you <laughs> your music is so beautiful <laughs> it really was backstage she's humble and modest but when she performs, she's proud and confident. That duality makes me breathless. Not the performance? Hear me now! I declare that one day she and I will perform on stage together. I can't believe this. What's next? <laughs> Man, I love Pikachu. That was beautiful, Karina. Thank you very much. Just do the same thing for the real deal. Alright, it's about time we should uh, call on Olga and Max. Oh, I can go get them now when we're ready. Great, thanks. What should I do in the meantime? Alright, could you go put your violin backstage for now? Of course. Okay, now what? Yo. Ah. That was a great performance. I can't wait to see the reactions we get from our viewers. Uh, to be honest, I was worried at first, but I guess I didn't need to be. No wonder she's a uh, rising star among violinists. She definitely lives up to her reputation. Right, doesn't she? <laughs> Why are you acting so full of yourself? So about the next rehearsal. What's the next scene you're going to rehearse? Oh, it's the scene where the assistant Pokemon gives Karina her violin. Keith went off to fetch the Pokemon, but he hasn't come back yet. I wonder where Keith has gone to. Could be that he was uh, cornered by Olga again. Hero. Oh. Oh, hey Karina, did you put your violin back there? Yes. Thanks. Now once Keith gets back, let's start our next rehearsal. Hero, this is bad. The assistant Pokemon won't make it? Uh, what are you saying, Keith? Uh, so sorry. I mixed up the dates of our schedule. Oh, my head hurts. I need a Pokemon. Any Pokemon to help us out. <laughs> 
Hey, I know. Tim, do you think Pikachu could fill in for the day? Huh? My Pikachu? Mm-hmm. He seems to enjoy music. I think he'd be great. <laughs> All right. If you really think he could help. I can! You're really saving my life. Thank you. Mine too, thank you. Okay, I'll need Pikachu to push the cart with the violin. Right over there, to that spot with the mark on it. That's right. And Tim, would you mind standing over there for me? Sure. That's where Karina will receive her violin. You're a big help. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, let's start rehearsal. Yanma, move those cameras exactly as you would for a real shoot. Yan Yan! Yan Yan! Pikachu, you ready? I've never been more ready. I've got this. <laughs> Here's the spot. So she picks it up here. Watch out! <laughs> oh, are you all right? Tim! Oh, no! Yeah, I'm okay. But look! <gasps> My precious violin! This is bad. Last. I was standing right there, and I couldn't do anything. I feel really bad for Mimikyu, he was so excited to do it and then uh, just, it's gotta be Mimikyu who did this, 100%. Poor Mimikyu, man. I'm so sorry, the Yamo have never made a mistake like this before. Need to stop shooting for now. Keith, take Karina back to her dressing room. Of course, come with me, Miss Mitchell, this way. You'll take the pieces of the violin, right? Here, let me help, the, let me help pick them up. What could have gone into the Yamo? They've never messed up their instructions like that before. What are they saying, Pikachu? They say it's not their fault. What do you mean? We should uh, talk to them a bit. Okay. So, what made them do this? Everyone thinks the Yanma made a mistake and caused the accident. But is that really true? Let's go see what the Yanma have to say. Alright. Yo. Oh. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Hey, are you hurt? That's a pretty heavy collision. If you're still feeling dizzy, just take it easy. You told us earlier that there was no way you'd mess up your instructions, right? It says they followed their instructions to the word. It says if we look properly, we should be able to prove it. Okay. And the other one. Where is it? Yeah, yeah. Looks like you have your own ideas about the accident. You could have a chat about them. They say they moved exactly as the staff told them to. Really? Maybe there was a mistake in the instructions themselves then. Right, should we go and... Oh, to the sub-control room, see the staff then? I think we've got what we can from the Yanma. Hiro seems to think the accident happened because the Yanma messed up. But the Yanma said they followed their instructions. Yeah, let's try and find out what really caused the accident. We should talk to the staff members next. Okay, to the staff members and start with you. Wait, yeah, start with you. Got the Yamara safe, uh, but what do we do now? Seems like he's uh, taking this hard. Excuse me, is it alright if we could ask you about the accident? What caused the accident? Uh, how should I know? Yamara and I just followed the uh, the Q sheet Hero gave us. Okay, Q sheet. Uh, I'm gonna write this down because it looks important. So it's uh, person up, and it's up the thing, and then that's green. So it's just Remember that, and then it's person that way, and then it's person this way. Just seems important, so yeah. Let's see, the plan for camera one was shoot from above, shoot from the left, shoot from the right, and move in. That's right, Keith should uh, have the, the uh, movement plan for camera two. He'd probably have to uh, show, it, show you if you ask him. Okay, so that's number one, isn't it? Let's just write one. Never know. Stuff could come in handy. Every time I write stuff down, it always comes in handy. It just saves time checking the um, checking the case list. All right, good to hear. Seems like the Yamma are unhurt too. So that's a relief. So the Yamma were behaving a little strangely. What do you mean? Think back to when the accident happened. The Yamma flew out from the left and right at the same time, right? Of course they were going to crash like that. 
Nobody on our staff would give instructions like that. Maybe the Yanma misheard. Maybe. Uh, you're a crew member. Today's turned into such a mess. Don't know what to do. You could be cursed or something, Tim. <laughs> what? Why me? <laughs> Actually, I didn't see the accident itself. I was looking at the script when it happened. The script? There's a plan for how the show should progress. Do you want to see? I do. Made the script, see? It's written to follow the flow of the show itself. You're right, it is. Do you think this is related to the accident? Could be. Doesn't have much on the Yammer cameras on it, though. Got the script just in case. Let's talk to Amelia. Any news? Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry to have worried you. Glad you're safe. It looks like Pikachu wasn't hurt either. Yep, not even a scratch. Don't know why the accident happened, but I think it's going to be hard to keep filming. Wonder what Hero will do. I wonder too. You, you should have the uh, other camera sheet, right? The Yammer have never messed up like this before, so I'm shocked. Maybe the people in charge of the Yammer cameras didn't give them the right instructions. The new uh, ADs tell Yemma how to move. I see. We should go talk to them too. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to Hero before we leave and go to the sub control room. Hmm? Oh man, what to do? Sounds like he's uh, not doing too well. Yeah, I hope we can help out in some way. Are you alright, Hero? Not really, but still. I've got to do something. Why do you think the accident happened? Let's see, I can think of a few reasons. Like the Yanma misunderstanding the instructions or Hoot Hoot's signal being delayed. Uh, about Hoot Hoot's signal. The Yanma rely on Hoot Hoot's signal to start filming. Could be that the connection with the sub control room got disrupted by Magnemite. Kind of think of it, you were talking to the sub control room during the rehearsal too, weren't you? Didn't notice anything strange, then, though I can check with Hoot Hoot if you want some clarification. Okay. Uh, is Magnemite still backstage? Because we can maybe talk to Magnemite as well. Magnemite, you, you down here? Got the violin case. Um, doesn't seem like Magnemite's back here. Oh, he went back to the dressing room, didn't he? Okay, that's fine. Right. Let's go to the sub control room, go speak to Hoot Hoot, and then the uh, the dude by the all the monitors and stuff. Might be able to give us some uh, clarification on what happened. Oh. Talk to just about everyone here. Maybe we should go check us outside the studio. Yep, that's what I'm doing, Pikachu. <laughs> uh, a little bit late there, buddy. Oh, Keith. What's up? She's very upset. She said she needed to be alone for a while. I don't blame her. She's, she clearly was very attached to that violin. And it was destroyed right in front of her. Do you have any idea why an accident like that could have happened? No, I guess I have misread the cue sheet for the uh, Yamma. Cue sheet. Do you think we could see the cue sheet? Sure, here it is. Let's see, camera two was supposed to shoot from above. Okay, so let's write this, so. Person above, person around. If any of you guys could see my little drawings right now, they are <laughs> very bad. Okay, got it. Yeah, the director gave those, uh, gives, the director gives those of us in charge of the Yanma cameras, the cue sheet, a few days before the day of the shoot. We tell the Yanma how to move the cameras based off of that. But I've double checked it and I'm positive I got the instructions right. Is there any chance the director gave you the wrong instructions? Nothing like that has, nothing like that's ever happened before. The original cue sheet should be at the sub control room. I suppose you could go check that. Okay. So I guess we'll look at the original Mimikyu, where are you going? What, you still upset that I got chosen as the assistant over you? Don't get too full of myself? Uh, sure. Whatever you say. More importantly, there's something we need to ask you. Do you know anything about the accident that just happened? They was going around the dressing rooms while avoiding the staff here, so doesn't know what was going on in the studio. Ah, huh, why was it doing that? Doing a bit of self-promotion? You're definitely persistent, I'll give you that. Maybe it wasn't Mimikyu. What? Mimikyu, what, what are you doing? Just bashing the door. It's like, nope, can't open this door, I'm going away. <laughs> I love Mimikyu in this game, so adorable. Alright, so let's speak to the Hoot Hoot first. Alright, so about the accident. It says the Yamma were so dedicated to their work that it's unthinkable that they would make a mistake. It's not like Hoot Hoot trusts them. Hiro? He looked like he was in a state of shock, but he was still saying he wanted to uh, do something to help. Your partner is quite the dependable guy, isn't he? It's about the signal. 
You're the one who signaled the Yammer when they needed to start moving, right? Huh, so the Yammer start to move as soon as you signal them? Same as always. Hiro said that there might have been some kind of communication trouble, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. Okay. So what happened during the rehearsal from here? What a mess this has become. Yes, thankfully we weren't hurt, but Karina's violin was completely ruined. I know, the responsibility for the accident lies with us. Really hope there's something we can do for Miss Mitchell. Is there anything you notice about the accident? You know, it did seem like there was something odd about the Yamas movements. What do you mean? I was checking the footage using this cue sheet, but there was something odd that I couldn't put my finger on. It's about the cue sheet. I see that the cue sheet you have has the movements of both Yamma cameras on it. Okay, so let's see. Oh, number one's wrong. The second uh, picture should be going around to the left, not down. And then uh, second camera, second camera's fine. The first camera's got different instructions. Oh. Let's see, camera one's movements were shoot from above, move away, shoot from the right, and move in. Okay. That's right, the Yammer should have moved exactly according to this plan. Got the master cue sheet, okay. Right. Hey there, Tim, are you alright? Yeah, well, yes, we're fine. Sorry to have you uh, caught up in all of this. Glad you're not hurt anyway. About the accident. We still haven't figured out the cause of the accident yet. Regardless of the cause, we've got to take this accident very seriously. Still, I'm glad nobody was hurt. Okay, and what about the president? Yes. This is the biggest scandal in the history of GNN. How exactly do you plan to take responsibility for this, Roger? Mr. President, please calm down, Mr. Graham. <laughs> now he shows his true colours. Don't even want to think about the accident. Who knows how much money we'll have to pay. And all for a silly violin? But sir, the responsibility for the damage suffered by Miss Mitchell lies with us. Bah, that has nothing to do with me. It's all because the staff here are incompetent. I told you to get rid of any useless staff members. You better take your time with it. I don't mean to argue, Mr. President, but... We have no place for employees that would cause harm to the station. Oh, I'm starting to think maybe Roger's... Like, I fought the guy, the blonde guy, Roger. He was evil or something, but he seemed like he could be a nice guy. Mr. Graham's a completely different person now. But when money's involved and his... You know, he gets sued, oh, you better believe. Different person. Why are you staring at my case list? Like that, Pikachu. This is a feeling that the key to solving this mystery about the accident is hidden in the evidence we've already gathered. Okay. So let's go over the case list. Everyone is thinking that the Yanma made a mistake. The Yama say they did what the instructions told them to do. So what caused them to crash into each other? It was the Q sheet. So I don't know how I'd do this, like, would I put Q sheet 1 and then the master Q sheet, because they're different? Yeah. That's right. It seems that someone tampered with Yanma's plan in order to cause the collision. The question is, how did the staff not notice something like that? Why would one Yanma have two movement plans? I don't think this was an accident at all. In fact, I think this is a case for us to solve. Okay. The Yama ran into each other because they were given fake instructions, but why did the culprit do that? Maybe the culprit had some kind of grudge against Karina. They tried to destroy the violin as revenge for something. Revenge, huh? If it weren't for Keith's mistake, Karina would have been the uh, one caught in the accident instead of me. Could have uh, even been that someone was targeting her directly. But, well, let's go talk to Karina first. Gathering testimony from the victim is the most basic step for any investigation. Okay. Yeah. Seems like someone made a fake movement plan to cause the accident. But why? I can't imagine Karina would have enemies, but... But let's see what she has to say. Alright, let's go and speak to Karina and solve this case. Alright, she's in her room down here. Maybe it was Olga? I'm gonna guess it was Olga. Maybe even Max, I don't know, man. I have no idea who this could be at the moment. Karina, please listen calmly. Tim, what's going on? We found out the accident earlier was actually deliberately caused by someone. What? But how? Yeah. Is what you say what you said true? Please tell me everything. Of course. Someone had given fake instructions to the Yanma? Is that what caused the accident? That's right. But who would do such a thing? Why? 
It's possible that culprit had some grudge against you and destroyed the violin as payback. It's about the violin. Can you tell us more about your violin? Of course, my grandfather made it for me before he passed away. It's the only one of its kind. Okay. Even now, when I get discouraged, I remember the message he left on left for me on the violin. It helps me feel better. A message? There was a message on the violin? I never noticed. Oh, you couldn't have. It's written on the inside of the back plate. After all. Oh, so you can't see from the outside. No, you can't. Actually, I think it's the I think the only ones who've seen it are me and Crocatoon, since we used to go and play in my grandfather's workshop. Okay. So. Hey, Tess. Uh, something on your mind? I helped Crocatoon pick up the pieces of the violin after the accident, but I don't think I saw a message anywhere on the back plate. Could be that you just didn't notice it. If it bothers you, we could double check. Yeah. Okay. Hold on a bit, Tim. I think Karina has more to tell us. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. Oh, maybe Crocatoon. You help us find the culprit? Thanks, we could use your help. We don't know who did this or why, but don't worry. We'll get to the bottom of things. About the message on the violin. Apparently Crocatoon was present when Karina saw the message. Crocatoon says Karina read the message to it. It said, To my darling Karina, even when I am no longer with you, I will always love you and your music. Okay. Wait, what does Karina have to tell us? Oh, we gotta look at the, the violin. I didn't realize the violin was there. Let's see, the back plate with the message should be... This one. But I don't see any messages written anywhere. So that means this violin is a fake. The culprit's goal was to steal Karina's violin. The culprit must have tampered with the Yamash Q sheets so that the accident would hide the fact that the violin has been swapped. That's right, you must uh, got away with it too. I swear I'll catch this culprit no matter what. Keith? Keith trying to steal the violin, I guess? Let's go talk to uh, her again. Oh. Thank goodness the violins have been swapped. That means that the real one is still safe. That's the one good thing about all of this. Okay, so I wonder who, uh, who could have took it. First things first, we should tell Karina and Kukratoon about the swap file in. Alright, you're right, Pikachu. But th then where is the real violin? The culprit probably still has it, but please keep this a secret. We don't want the culprit to get nervous and hide it away. Never noticed my violin had been swapped with a fake. But I think the one I used for my performance was the real one. I could tell from the tone. Yeah, Kukratoon says so too. Alright, and yeah, Kukratoon. About the swap violin. Oh, something fell off to you too? The material seemed softer than normal. I see. It must have been difficult for the culprit to get the exact same materials to use. Okay. Wait, what, what could Karina tell us? Uh, yes. I don't know what else she could say. Okay, the testimony we got from the two of them are shedding light on the crime. Really? Let's organise what we know. To get started, let's figure out exactly what the violin or when the violin was swapped. Open up your case notes. Okay, go with Peter's Q. Now, uh, let's try and figure out when the violin could have been swapped out. It's during preparations. First, when do we know for sure that the violin was already uh, a fake? Wait. Yeah, when it was switched out. Wait, what? Is that the broken violin? So. Oh, what time did we know the violin was fake? We knew it was fake when. The accident. True. By the time I had delivered the violin, it had already been swapped out with the fake one. Now we know when the violin was swapped out with the fake one. But we still need to figure out when was the last time the real violin was seen. During the performance. So it's during preparations, right? Now why do you think that? Because she was playing it. So, Karina was using the real violin during her performance. She and Cricketune both confirmed it to be true. And that means 
The culprit swapped out the violin after Karina finished her performance, but before I moved it. Yeah. So during preparations. Now we know when the violin was swapped. Yeah, the culprit aimed for the exact moment Karina would not be around with her violin. Judging from that, and the tampering with the cue sheet, the culprit must have been very familiar with the show. So the culprit is someone who works here. I bet it's Hero. Why would he want the violin though? Alright, what do we want to do? Now we know almost the exact moment when the violin was swapped. The culprit has to be someone involved with the show. Let's find out about the alibis of everyone involved between the time Karina finished playing and I brought out the violin. Just saying, does not look good for Keith right now because Keith took the violin, didn't he? Oh no, she took the violin backstage. Huh. I don't know who it could be. Like, I feel like Hero could be evil. I feel like it could be him, but I have absolutely no idea who it's going to be right now. Alright, so Keith, what's your alibi, dude? Where were you during the rehearsal, Keith? I don't think I saw you until right before the accident happened. Went down to a lower floor to call the assistant Pokemon as soon as we found Perugly. What happened with that? Well, it didn't show up even when the scheduled time came, so I called the office to check. It turns out I'd mixed up the dates and had scheduled it for the wrong time. So I ran back to the studio to let Hero know. So that's what the ruckus was about. Do you run into anybody on your way back to the studio? Yeah, as I recall, I ran into Amelia. She just finished her calling Max and Olga. Okay. Well, that's an alibi. Make sure you remember it. Okay, I'll try. So about the assistant Pokemon schedule. Are you the one in charge of the scheduling and managing the assistant Pokemon? That's right, I'm really sorry that my mistake put you both in a dangerous spot. Yeah, next time pay closer attention. Don't worry about it, neither of us will hurt. Okay, hero. Ah. So the odds are at 50-50, ready for a request for a new violin, I feel bad for Karina. I wish I have to use the new one. I was in the studio ever since Karina finished her performance. I was making sure the staff knew the plan for the show, checking the footage and so on. We were in the studio then, too. Didn't see anyone leave or enter until Amelia and Keith came back. Seems like Hero and the staff here have a solid alibi. Keep gathering testimony. So I doubt it's him then. What's the matter? Okay, I'm still looking to the accident. Don't mention that we swap violin until we're ready to catch the culprit. Oh, I mean, yes. So about Amelia's alibi. I mean, after Karina played, I was checking the dressing rooms to call on Max and, Al and, Max and Olga. But you came back to the studio alone, didn't you? Weren't you able to find them? Oh, no, not exactly. They both seemed like they were busy, so I just told them uh, what I needed through the door. Oh, I see. And did you meet anyone else? Well, oh, I remember I ran to Keith near the studio. So Keith's uh, alibi now holds up with Amelia. That I think about it. This person couldn't be the culprit. Alright, about when she met Keith. I ran to Keith on my way back to the studio. He was standing near the entrance, but he looked very depressed. And he was about to go report to Hero that he messed up an assistant Pokemon schedule. You came back to the studio after that, right? That's right. Right, so the crew in here and Hero and Amelia are all safe, so when you go see I guess then Max and Olga. Oh. Okay, good thinking, but don't forget to tell him to keep it a secret. Okay. Let's go talk to Hero real quick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, don't want to talk to Yemma. Ah. Okay, about the culprit. The violin was swapped out, and you say there's someone here that did it? Yes. I can't imagine. No, actually, could it be that he... Do you know something? Well, this is just a rumor, but I've heard Max has a lot of debt he needs to uh, pay back. The violin was a very valuable one, so he may have stolen it so he could sell it. Hmm, sounds like Max could have a motive to steal the violin. Okay. So let's go and find Max. I think Max is in here. Yeah. What? Oh, still doing your investigation? Go easy on playing detective, alright? Playing detective? Nobody's playing here. Max, you left the studio once the first rehearsal was done, right? Yeah. I figured I'd go over the script one more time in my dressing room while I waited. 
Did anyone come by during that time? Oh yeah, a staff member came by to call me. I was in the middle of something, so I couldn't open the door. But I said I'd be right out. Oh, so you didn't actually see this person. Uh, yeah, that's an alibi. Make sure you remember it. So it can't be Max, because Amelia did... She did say she knocked on the door. So I doubt it's him. What about Chaddock? I doubt Chaddock could carry a violin, to be fair. Yeah. It's like twice the size of it. <laughs> uh, about Max's alibi. What did you and Max uh, do once you were done with the uh, first rehearsal? You came back to the dressing room together? I seem to recall you saying that that's what you were going to do, yeah? What's that? You're excited because Max said he'd give you a snack early today? We weren't asking about your snack. Someone came to call you, they knocked on the door and said something apparently. Must have been Amelia. Is Amelia a person or a Pokemon? Why do you ask that? Apparently a Pokemon stopped by too, in addition to the person. That'd be a Mimikyu, right? Surely. Doesn't know who, but apparently someone rammed into the door. Yeah, we saw it, it was Mimikyu. We saw Mimikyu ram into the door. <laughs> yeah, but that would be surprising, but did that Pokemon do then? You run off making some kind of cry, according to Chatot. <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean to do alibi, I meant to do, um, the signal. We saw the, uh, the, the Mimikyu bash into the door. <laughs> oh, Mimikyu. Can you show us your uh, cool mimicking skills again? Oh, you can? Try different signals to see what happens, eh? Tim, give it a shot. Nice to meet you. Hey, that's the voice of Mr. Graham. And cut! Must be hero. And what's with the self uh, contented look? Trying to act too cool, are you? Hey, go easy on me. I tried my best. Yeah, I would have passed Max to do that. Probably are gonna. There probably are more cues than we can imagine. Nope. And stomp foot. Get out of my way. <laughs> well, that's definitely over, all right. If someone yelled at me like that, I'd definitely have a heart attack, even if it was a prank. Okay. So it wasn't Max, and you go speak to Olga, and then... That should be all the testimony, right? Although we probably should speak to the people in the... Uh, sub-control room. Excuse me? Hey, what's wrong? Well, about the accident that just happened, it seems like it was a del deliberately caused by someone. What? But then, who's the culprit? We're investigating that now. That's what we'd like to know, uh, where everyone was during the rehearsal. We were here the whole time. Yes, we were keeping an eye on the studio from here. Hmm. I think it would be more difficult for the per people here in the sub-control room to swap out the violin. So it's not these guys. Uh, yeah, that's an alibi. Make sure you remember it. So who's that? We've got the Marwile lady and then Olga. So many monitors right there. Alrighty. Oh, Mimikyu. More sure, Al oh, you haven't got an alibi. Well, we know you were nearby because uh, you were... Mimikyu just headbutted the door. <laughs> so I don't think it was Mimikyu. Right, you. What do you want? Oh, uh, oh, come on! You're a detective. Don't let her intimidate you. Go on, ask what you need. Where were you after we finished the first rehearsal? I stayed in my dressing room. I was given probably a nice brushing. Did anyone stop by during the at that time? One of the staff members came to call on me. I answered, although I didn't open the door. I see. If someone comes all the way to get you. The least you could do is open the door for them. Although, come to think of it, something odd happened after that. Oh. Tim, be sure you remember what people told us. Okay, what happened after that? Uh, someone came and beat on the door. Oh, guys, Mimikyu. <laughs> Looked through the fogged glass window, but didn't see anyone out there. Wonder what it was all about. Had to be Mimikyu. Uh. About Olga's alibi. Yeah, what were you guys doing after we finished our rehearsals? You came back to the dressing room for a nap? Olga gave you a good brushing too. So your fur is all perfect. You know, I can't really tell. <laughs> wow, Pikachu. <laughs> Alright, so I guess one more person to speak to and then that's it.
Oh. Second person. Why are they glaring at each other? Let's see uh, what they're saying. It's time to decide whose special talents are truly better. Saying being able to smell the difference of foods with your tongue is more amazing. Saying making laundry uh, super clean with ultrasonic waves is way cooler. That's like comparing leopard berries to orange berries. Still, we can't just leave, they leave them like this. What do you think we should do? Um, have a battle. <laughs> then acknowledge each other's talents. Anyway, you two seem to uh, make up, okay? We can uh, come by and check on them later. Maybe something will have changed. Okay. I need to talk to you. Previous uh, recording has gone over the scheduled time. Maybe the Pokemon are getting irritated. Hope they can become friends before the actual filming starts. But seeing how they are now, that may be difficult. What in the world has gone into Ekans? It's not normally the time to pick a fight with other Pokemon. I wonder what set it off this time. Uh, what about Magnemite and Ekans? It's boring because I don't pay attention to you. It's like you're being left out. I don't think they mean to be rude or anything, but maybe Marl just likes to have company. Oh, calm down. You could shut this whole place down if you got too excited. Telling things apart by smell isn't unusual or interesting at all. Really? I can't think of any other Pokemon that can smell for its tongue. Don't get in your way. Hey, chill out. No need to look so scary. Magnemite's talents are all mundane and useless. You think? I can see my mum getting excited about super clean laundry. <laughs> okay. So we've spoken to everyone now, haven't we? Uh, okay. Do you mean that someone banged on the door? That's right, my theory is that it's the same Pokemon that visited Chadot's dressing room. That would make sense. I wonder if we can find the Pokemon ask it about uh, when it visits the dressing rooms. It's gotta be Mimikyu. Where'd you go? He can run fast. He definitely came down. There you are. So it's not Mimikyu then. Okay. Alright, let's um... Talk to Hoot Hoot. Not Hoot Hoot. Maybe it was one of the Pokemon, like the Ekans or the Marwile or something, but we just spoke to them. So I don't know who this could be. Oh, come on, you shouldn't know what to do. Someone you haven't checked yet? Or the studio, or the sub-control room, or the dressing room, the performers? I've checked everywhere. Got all the alibis. Unless there's someone at the huh? back. That we need an alibi for Karina, but maybe we should just double check. Okay. Yes. Uh oh, you need to get Karina's alibi. What if Karina broke it herself just so that she could get a new violin? Dunno. After my performance, I went backstage to put my violin there. Who asked you to do that, right? Did you see anyone else while you were back there? Don't remember, I'm sorry, I should have paid more attention. Please, don't worry about it. Yes, so the culprit is? Wait, what's that? All of our suspects have alibis? Yeah, what are we gonna do? About the culprit. Don't want to point fingers, but it may have been Olga who stole my violin. Why do you say that? Well, Olga had asked me a few times before if I would be willing to part with my violin. Of course I said no. Of course, your grandfather made it for you. That's right, but it se didn't seem like Olga was ready to give up. So she may have planned something like this. Hmm, seems Olga has a motive. Anyway, but we can't just decide she's the culprit based off that. Right. So, what now? All the alibis hold up. This is a conundrum, I didn't get anyone involved to have alibis. This is going to mean one thing, the culprit. What did the culprit do? Create a fake alibi. That's right, the culprit must have used uh, some sort of trick to create a fake alibi. That being said, I don't think anyone working in the studio or sub-control room have the time to do anything elaborate like that. I agree, our suspects are the people who are moving around on their own. That's four people. 
Max, Olga, Keith, and Amelia. You don't think Amelia is... I know how you feel, but a detective has to keep an objective view of everything. Still, we'll use some more information. Now that I think about it, Mimikyu had snuck out of the Pokemon dressing room and was uh, wandering around, right? Maybe we talk to it, or shed some light on the situation. Sounds good. Alright, Mimikyu, where, where are you? Usually just chilling around here. I have no idea where Mimikyu is now. Um... Right, don't know where Mimikyu is. It's got to be in one of the studios, so we'll dress some rooms. She wasn't in. It wasn't in Karina, so let's check out Max's. Huh? Yeah, we've got. We have to talk to uh, Mimikyu next. So maybe Mimikyu went back to the first dressing room with all the uh, the Pokemon fighting. So that's Max's. That's Olga's. The last one's Karina's, and this one's just like random people. Where is this Mimikyu? Just seems to have uh, gone missing. Might be in the studio, behind the studio. It could have gone somewhere. This Mimikyu, man. Right, he's not on this side. We'll go into the... Uh, the studio and see if he's just wandering around there. I remember Q, where you at? There you are. You wander around the, the dressing rooms during the rehearsal, right? Do you think you could tell us more about that time? About when I visit Olga. So you visit the dressing room for Progly's partner, right? What happened then? Someone kicked the door when you knocked? I bet that was Progly. Progly's too narrow-minded? I'm pretty sure it was uh, in a bad mood because you were pounding on the door. Should go make up later. <laughs> when you visited Max. Okay, Progly's partner got mad at you. You mean Olga was in Max's dressing room? Oh. You got yelled at when you knocked on the door, you say? You got, you heard, get out of my way. Was that really Olga? I mean, Olga said she was in her room. Our own dressing room, and Max didn't say anything about her being his room. Mimikyu, did you go into the dressing room at all? You ran away as fast as you could? <laughs> well, I guess we have no way of uh, knowing what was really going on then. Whatever, nothing to do with you, as always. Man, it looks like it took the uh, rejection hard. Don't be so, so depressed. I bet you'll get another chance soon. He's right. If you're that motivated, I bet everyone will realise you've got talent someday. Don't worry too much. So there's a fake alibi, and there's Mimikyu's knock to consider, too. What are you thinking, Pikachu? Yes, of course. It all makes sense now. A bolt of brilliance! <laughs> Tim, the culprit is so... <laughs> okay, the culprit used a trick to make us believe he was somewhere else when he was actually backstage. A trick? That's right, Amelia provided an alibi for the culprit so he can help us figure it out. Come on, Tim. It's gotta be Max. Alright, what do you need? You mentioned that you knocked on the doors for Olga and Max's dress rooms when you visited them. Do you think you could show me exactly how? Well, sure, but it's not like I did anything special. I just knocked three times. Any staff member at GNN would do the same thing. So that's the trick the culprit used. Tim, now's the time to gather everyone in the studio. Yeah. Okay, we got it. Three knocks is uh, the sound for chat up. I figured out the truth behind the accident. What are you saying? That one of us here is the culprit? Yeah, just what do you mean the truth? We're all friends here. Can't say I appreciate the insinuation. Come on now. Let's allow Tim to speak his mind. Thank you, Hero. Here it is. I'm not one to mince words. The culprit is... Go on. You know who it is, don't you? Max. Max, it's you. 
You're the one. What? Oh, come on. Is this some kind of prank? What on earth would I have to gain from busting up someone's violin? Nothing. If the violin really was broken. But it isn't broken. That one was a fake, wasn't it? A fake violin? Oh, what an imagination. How could you come up with a theory like that? You tell him, Tim. Uh, the message on the inside. We checked the pieces of the violin, but there wasn't a message on them anywhere. Karina told us that her violin had a message written on it from her grandfather, which means the broken one couldn't be hers. A written message? I never noticed such a thing on it. Right. That's because it's written on the inside. It's something only Karina could know, since she watched the violin being made. Right. As a child, I played at my grandfather's workshop. He inscribed a special message for me, and it was written on the inside. You see? And now that proves the broken violin must have been a fake. But where's the real one? I think Max probably knows. But no! I haven't done anything! Listen, the whole time the violin was backstage, I was in my dressing room. How could I be in two places at once? Oh boy, this is where you take down his alibi. Uh, Chatot in the dressing room. Actually, my guess is it was Chatot in the dressing room. You probably used the trick like this. Gotcha! I'll be right out! Oh, yes, that's exactly what I heard. Admit it! Admit it! Chatot, be quiet! You just made it seem like you were still in that room. And then you swap the real violin that was backstage with the fake. Oh. You have to admit it! You have to admit it! I had no choice. My popularity's been sagging. I wasn't sure the show would get picked up again. And if it didn't... I knew I'd be let go. I couldn't pay back my debts. I'd be finished. Oh, Max. You were wrong. I was going to have you continue as our host. What? But, but, everything I did. I'm really sorry, Max. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to call the police. Huh. <laughs> what a fool he was. In the end, he was the one who didn't believe in his own talent. Hey, you guys! I found the videos! What's wrong? Why is everyone hanging out here? Awkward! So Max was the culprit all along. Yeah, he was. And that's the case closed. Let's get back on track. Alright, so check the video. Well, I'm going to end this part right here. Next episode, we're going to go check the video and see what we can find. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. See you next time. Peace.